Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Amy and today I am going to be doing a bit of a haul video. Um, some of this stuff I got a little while ago and I just haven't brought it to the barn yet because I haven't needed to. And other stuff I ordered for spring and it just arrived so I haven't actually opened that box yet. I mean it's open because I had to pick it up so I did open it to make sure everything was there. But the other box I have already opened and looked through, so um, we'll start with the one that I have looked through. Um, and before I actually start, I just want to say if my makeup looks like I did it in the dark, it's because I did. Um, that is a long story in and of itself. So if you see anything funky going on here, then just, you know, ignore it, maybe, for my sake. I don't know. Okay, so let's jump right in. Um, I actually want to say that some of this stuff I don't still have the receipt for it. I think I tossed it when I opened the box so I don't still have the prices for it but I have rough guesstimates. Some of them I think do have the prices on them, some of them don't. Um, so anyway, I got two of these Himalayan salt blocks. Um, I'm not going to open the box just because, I don't know if you can see, but it is pr taped pretty heavily. I did already open one and take it to the barn for Joe because um, I thought that she you know, would like that, but she apparently does not really enjoy these actually, and neither does Bev. And Bev gets salt like in her dinner supplements, but Joe does not, so I think I might have to switch over to that because she doesn't seem to enjoy these. But I do have two of them, so we'll see. Maybe she will get onto them, maybe she won't. Um, so the next item I'm going to do these lead ropes next. Okay, so I got a ton of these Gatsby lead ropes. Um, I opened one up for you guys. I got them on sale. They were for Black Friday sale for like a dollar or a dollar fifty and they're regular $12.99. So I figured, you know, for that price, let's um, stock up on a bunch because I don't know about you guys, but I tend to buy cheap lead ropes and they always break, obviously because they're cheap. So I just like to have a bunch on hand, so that's kind of why I stocked up, but it's just like that. And it was kind of like a grab bag one. Um, I like this kind of clip um, as opposed to the, I don't know what that other one is, the one that you have to physically pull it open, which you physically pull this one open too, but maybe somebody on here gets my point. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like a grab bag, so they just kind of came in assorted colors which is fine because I just plan to have them as spares, um, otherwise I would kind of want them to match their halters, but um, this is fine. So yeah, that's just what it looks like. They're a little bit of the thinner material than I like to have, just because my hands, I feel like they get stiff if I'm holding something too tightly like that, but again, they were cheap and they are just have for backups. So I got those. Um, I'll show you guys the other colors that they sent me. Um, oh yeah, and they are the Gatsby brand. Okay, so I got that one, and then I'm not going to take all of them out, but hopefully you guys can kind of see through the plastic. This one's just like a dark hunter green, and then I think I actually took two of them to the barn already, so I think I got eight or nine total. Um, and this one's kind of a mint color, which I'm actually really excited for because I just bought Joe a new halter, which is in this box that I haven't looked through yet, and it is supposed to be mint colors. So I'm hoping that these two actually go nicely together, but we'll see when I pull that out. Um, and then I got another of the multicolored ones. And then I got two of these. Are they the same? Oh no, they're not quite the same. I got a solid navy. One which would also, I think, go well with the new mint halter, but we'll see. Um, then we got another mint. Um, and then we got navy and black. And then the other one that I took to the barn was red. And there may have been one other that was also red, but I can't quite remember. Um, and then I stocked up on hay nets. Um, most of them are already at the barn. Oh, looks like I got... Another salt look I didn't know about actually. So apparently I have three. Um, so yeah, I did stock up on hay nets as well. Oops. I don't know what that was, coupon or something. Okay, so yeah, I stocked up on hay nets. I usually get the cheap tough one hay nets. This one's just a multicolored, um, the 42 inch long, which I think is the biggest you can get for 
stall hay nets. I think I might be wrong, but I usually do try to get the biggest just because my horses eat a lot and yeah, and I get the ones with the two inch by two inch holes. Um, just so it is a slow feed and I like that, you know what, I will just take it out and show you guys the thing that I like most about it. Okay, so I always feel like when I'm filling a hay net, the, I'm not going to undo the whole thing, but the string part, you know what, I am going to open it if I can figure this out. Um, okay, so what I was trying to say is like the string part, you know, we'll see if I can open this along the way. Um, no, I'm incompetent. Okay, so yeah, the string part I feel like always gets kind of lost when you're filling them, but I like that these ones have the metal rings that have the string in it so that it doesn't get lost quite as easily. Um, to me that just makes it a little bit easier to fill, so yeah, sorry I'm kind of incompetent and can't actually open it to show you guys, but I'm sure you guys have probably seen this kind before, but um, I did want to explain also why I buy such cheap hay nets, because I think I got this on sale for like seven dollars. So I don't like to spend a lot on hay nets because my horses are stupid hard on them and constantly rip holes in them and I have tried different brands. I've tried more expensive brands. It doesn't seem to matter what I try. Within a few weeks there's always big gaping holes and I use my hay nets until they like physically cannot hold hay because otherwise I would literally be buying a new hay net for each horse every week and that just doesn't work for me. So I use my hay nets until they can no longer hold hay. Um, and currently Joe and Bev both actually are eating off the ground despite I did bring them hay nets, these new ones, but Bev is getting worse and worse with ripping holes in them and she is, if you guys saw my last video, she is actually going a few hours north of me to a retirement facility anyway, so she's just eating off the floor for now, which is fine because she does finish everything, so I never like have a mess to scoop through really, usually. Um, and Joe is currently using hers as a scratching post, which is fine, except that her blanket keeps getting stuck in it, like the front straps, I've even vet wrapped her front straps at one point to maybe prevent them from getting stuck, but then she's also getting her belly band stuck on it as well, so I've just kind of given up on hay nets at this point, and I'll try again in a few weeks, hopefully when they're not wearing blankets. Um, so that's all for that box, and then I did get a separate order of these... DSB sport boots. Um, I had a few people recommend them to me. I was just kind of looking for something to protect Joe's legs when I start um, working her on the lunge line more. Um, and also free lunging because I know she was kind of banging her legs sometimes. So I know these, I don't know like if these are ideal for like just lunging in or whatever, but I did have a few people recommend them to me just because they were soft and fluffy and Apparently they're pretty durable, this particular brand, so thought I would try these out for her. Um, I got, they are the ones that can go, they cut, or blah. These are the ones, that, they came in a set of four, and I got them for a Black Friday sale. And I think I only paid like 80, 60 or 80, it was like 60 American. So it was probably a really bad at conversion. I'm gonna guess with shipping and everything, it was probably around 80 Canadian. Um... And that was for a Black Friday sale, and I think they were about half off, so I think, I may be totally wrong on this, somebody correct me if you have these same boots, but I think it was probably regular price around 160 Canadian, not American, so American would be cheaper. Um, they, these ones are small, I got these for her front legs. I'm hoping that they are okay, because she is really long-legged, um, and I've heard that these particular ones do fit a little bit bigger. Um, so hopefully these are okay for her because she's actually pretty big. Um, and then for the hind ones, I just went up a size and got a medium. And then my plan with that is to, when she does need the mediums on the front, then I can just order, um, a single pair of large for her hinds. Um, so yeah, those are them. I'm pretty excited to try these out and they just have like the Velcro that is pretty tough. Um on the side to do them up, which I like because I have arthritis in my fingers, so anything that's like a button or like anything tiny is really hard for me, so I like these are Velcro. That was one of my main things when I was trying to find her pair of boots, was that they had to be easy for me to put on. 
So I haven't taken those to the barn yet because Joe has been off for a while um, since, well, she's been like off and on since um, probably end of September, mid-October. Um, but I will explain that in another video coming up, probably my next video. Um, yeah, but hopefully I'll get to use these soon. Okay, now I am going to jump into opening this box that I just picked up today. Um, oh, I almost never get sent anything with these little like puffs in it. I like cheesies, white cheesies. Um, it's stuck in my phone. Okay, so I have not opened this. Um, I just kind of peeked in to make sure that it seemed like everything was there. Um, okay, so I ordered. I'm not going to take this one out of the package just because, again, with my arthritic fingers, I don't think I can do that right now, and I don't have a knife with me. Um, so this is the Endure Fly Spray. Um, this one is my favorite. You can't get it at any stores near me. Stores near me are, like, super limited to what fly sprays they do carry. So I got this one. I've been using this one for years, but I actually have taken a few years off from using it. Um just because I was lazy and didn't want to order it and I also couldn't find anywhere that had it for a good price. So this one I actually got on sale. Um, I forget what I paid for it. I feel like it was like 25 US. So it's probably like 30 something Canadian. But um, yeah, so I really like this one. I feel like it definitely keeps the bugs off. Um, I think somewhere on it, it says that it works for like 14 days. I definitely don't find that to be true. But I do find that it does work longer through like compared to other ones and I do feel like it stays on better like when you're riding and the horses are sweating um so I always used to like this one for bed because she is a really big sweater like she can be out in the field just standing and start sweating so I always really like this one for her because I feel like it definitely lasted through that whereas I found a lot of other brands didn't seem to do that all right guys sorry I'm back um I had to go turn on a tv show for my daughter um, she's watching Spirits, so if you guys can hear that in the background a little bit, I'm sorry, but the TV is like right on the other side of this wall here. Um, okay, so these next three items I actually haven't seen in person yet, other than the little bit I'm seeing through the cheesy pop things. Um, so I'm really excited for these. So the first item is going to be this halter. Jo was outgrowing her cob size, so I ordered her horse size. So, um, but these were labeled a little bit differently on the website like this one was labeled as just horse size so I'm assuming it's like average horse but it also says full so um we will see this might be like too big right now but maybe not um it is a burgundy I'm just gonna show you guys up close and it's glittery I don't know if you guys can kind of see that there um hopefully it's focusing <laughs> um but yeah I really quite like that and it also has this kind of velvety layer here for the pull piece. Um, and the nose band one is lined as well. So I'm really, really very excited for that. Oh, this is the clip I was talking about with the lead ropes. The one that you have to physically move. Which, again, obviously you have to physically move all of them. But yeah, I was talking about that kind of clip. That's the kind that I don't like. And... It's just really hard for my fingers so hopefully that works out okay um so this halter i plan to be her indoor halter i always have an indoor halter and an outdoor halter just because i don't like changing the chain over sorry you can probably hear my daughter um my apologies you can tell she's right behind the door she's playing kitty right now so you can probably hear her meowing um so yeah, I always have an indoor halter and an outdoor halter um, just because I don't like to have to change the chain over and I do like to keep a chain on my halters that go outside with them like for turn in, turn out. Um, and also I don't want this nice glitter to get damaged outside. Um, so yeah, hopefully this one actually fits her though. Okay, so the next item is another halter. This is the mint one I was telling you guys about. Um, we'll have to take this one out the bag um, this is going to be her outdoor halter and again this one is supposed to be average horse size so hopefully oh my goodness there was like little fuzzies in that bag and it went all over my pants okay um so yeah this one actually says average on the tag the other one says full even though on the website it just said horse size so we'll see how these compare 
But the other one I'm also not too concerned about because it is just her indoor halter. So this one is the Weaver brand. I actually don't know what brand the other one is. Um, but yeah, this is Weaver. I really like Weaver halters. Um, and it does have the clip that I don't love, but it's all, I can already tell it's not as stiff as the other one. So that will be fine. Um, yeah, I love that actually. It's a really pretty color. I wasn't even sure like what color mint was supposed to be and on the website it was showing up as being the same as like teal or aqua so I was like is it blue or is it green I don't know. okay so the last item here is a rain sheet for Joe I really hope it came in the color so far I just see gray it's supposed to be mint okay yes thank god it is mint um and again I was not sure what color mint was actually going to be because this was showing up really interesting on the website um okay so it is the brand rugged ride which is the same brand as the winter blank I got for her this year and I really like that one so I decided to go with a rugged ride again they are um on the cheaper side um I think it was like fifty dollars and I think it was on sale and that was U.S. um I don't remember what the regular price was it might have been like 76 U.S. um so I think I paid like 40 something for it so it's probably like 60 something Canadian I think and it was on sale so I did pretty good there I do like to get cheaper blankets for Joe just because she is growing and she really outgrows them in a season anyway like this won't even fit her in fall I almost guarantee it um none of her other ones have lasted longer more than a season so um yeah I got this in a 76 um, because she is measuring solid out of 74 right now so I didn't want to get her a 74 because if she needs to wear this all spring then I don't want her to outgrow it before she's done wearing it so I ordered a 76 I almost always go up a couple inches with her um, and brand depending of course too because obviously like each brand fits differently um, but I knew how this one generally fits because I've had had rugged ride for her winter one and then I've had rugged ride for her I think last spring as well I had one of these ones um and they held up pretty well especially for being a cheap blanket I don't know how they would hold up if you were using it for more than one season but um for her they seem to do well and I mean when she's older and in a solid size then I will um order like nicer more expensive blankets um because then I don't want to have to be replacing them every season if they do rip or something and I could just get them repaired, but they are so cheap that the repairs would probably end up eventually being the same cost or more as it would be to purchase a new one. So not really worth it to repair these in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I don't think I can like fully open it because I am short and I don't have long arms, but um, yeah, you guys can kind of see the color there. And then it's just got the gray on the bottom and you can see it's got the big shoulder gussets. These ones, I feel like they actually come up a little bit higher than certain other brands. Um, and then it's got the belly straps, um, it'll have front straps and leg straps, thank god because I ordered a rain sheet for Bev and it has held up really well. It's an Amigo and I generally like Amigo but I didn't realize that it didn't come with leg straps and it has like the little bum tail strap thing but I don't know if it's just her or what but that does not hold shit in place. So I need a new one for her but I generally like Amigo too so that really sucks but uh, next time I will definitely read closer but like I still like Amigo but if they're all like that I don't think I can ever get Amigo for her again so anyway yeah I'm really excited about this rain sheet um so yeah that is all for this video thank you so much guys for watching um I will see you next time bye